A very warm welcome everyone, it's Nick here, and we're looking at a remake of one of my favourite ZX Spectrum games of all time, it's Attic Attack. Now this remake was made by Richard Jordan in 2006, and based on the original game by Ultimate Play the Game in 1983. I love this game so so much, I'm a little bit concerned about any remakes for it, but I thought we'd dip in. This is the first game we've ever reviewed on the PC. You can choose three characters as the original, Knight, Wizard or Surf. We'll probably have a couple of games on this, but I'll select the Wizard. Each one of these characters has different skills. The Wizard can go through bookcases, the Knight through grandfather clocks and the Surf through corks. Now, uh, this looks good already. The map layout is the same as the original game and it moves very similar too. Graphics are lovely. All the sounds seem to be lifted from the original game and then there's additional sounds over the top. Looks at that, the uh, suits of armour move. Now the idea of the game, if you're unaware, is to collect three parts of a large gold key called the ACG key. Um, uh, in three parts, randomly, in this big uh, castle, which you must escape from. There are other doors as well, you can see that green one there, you can collect three smaller keys to get through um, a green door, a red door, a blue door and a gold door. You'll see you can't get through the grandfather clock, only the knight can. There's trap doors you can fall down and there's various ghouls that will spring up there. I really like the way they generate here and the ghouls can be pumpkins, witches, anything. All the time, we've lost a life there, you see the chicken going down the scroll on the right. It seems to go down a bit quicker than the original. And various items you can pick up as well, which will aid you in your quest. Monsters around the place, there could be Frankenstein, Dracula and occasionally the mummy and a few others as well. Moves really well this. Let's see how far we can get and we're down a trapdoor. Cool, that's a nice effect, look at that. Good, I love that. I love the way the character tumbled down as well. You didn't get that in the original. Whee! We're going to go down to the basement? No. Now, to my memory, the map looks exactly the same. I love the lighting on this. This conversion by Richard Jordan is done with really a lot of care. Well done, you. I'm loving this. There are a few other PC remakes we can have a look at as well going forward. There's the green key there to help. And there's this cross, which will help us um, against Dracula. That chicken that's going down all the time, you can replenish your energy by getting, uh, picking up food. There we go, through the bookcase, that's our special skill. This is a really good game, I like this. Let's see how far we can get on here. I'd like to go to the basement at some point. I don't know what that claw does. Bit of food. Ooh. Now what I liked about the original game is it really inspired a kid's imagination. You brought a lot, we're in the basement now, you brought a lot to it yourself. But with this, if you had this as a kid, this would have been game over. I mean, uh, fantastic uh, additional atmospheric sounds put on the top here. You can hear the original sounds as well as I say, and that keeps it there. It's very faithful to the original game. 2006, a modern day version. So well done, Richard Jordan. You've done a fantastic job. When I first bought my uh, Commodore Amiga, because uh, I was such a fan of Attic Attack, I was looking for a conversion of Attic Attack on the Amiga. There's a few public domain games, but they all weren't very good. Uh, this one is really the sort of thing I was looking for. Brilliant. Over 10 years ago now, though, this game. But I'd like to see a PlayStation 4 version of it. But uh, would it maintain the original quirkiness? I'm not sure. Green key means we can go through the green doors, like Shaking Stevens did. Right, through here. Oh, I don't remember that bookcase and that down bit. Is this the same or not? This bit looks like it's a slightly different. <laughs> I like the sound of the doors opening and closing. Didn't get that to such an extent before. This is very spooky. Oh dear, there's the devil there. And there's a ZX Spectrum in the middle. I don't... Oh, we died. I don't remember a ZX Spectrum being able to pick up in the original game. Maybe this bit's changed slightly. It looks a bit like Dark Maul, this thing. Don't let him touch you. But we've got the Spectrum now. Don't know what that claw thing does. Hopefully we'll bump into Dracula at some point in this game. 
it'd be good to do so. The uh, cross keeps him away from you if he's on screen. But that was one of the highlights. Oh, we're losing lives quickly here. Is that game over already? Oh dear. Yeah, I don't know if the chicken depletes quicker depending on what um, person you have. But we'll go in again. We'll select another character, either the Surf or the Knight. Different options there. Du -du -du -du. Nice music. Attic Attack, the uh, original didn't have any music to speak of. I think Ultimate would have been pleased with this. Knight. We'll pick that next. Now, he can go through grandfather clocks. You start in the same place. He doesn't generate through lightning. He flies down. Check out his shield. So, here we go. Let's see what the knight can do. There's a cross. No sign of Dracula again. Nice carpet. Good, good, good. Um, a map would be good in this game. Eee! Right, we're stuck in here. There's no green key. The coloured keys also appear at random intervals, so if you you can't like remember where they are, they can be anywhere about three or four places, I think, each one. The blue key tends to be in the basement. I'm good for getting past the hunt. Oh, and go through there, so we will. Oh no, there was a trapdoor right round the other side. Heaps of fun this game. If you liked Attic Attack back in the day, I do uh, recommend tracking this down for PC. Uh, it's available for Mac also. If you didn't own it back in the day and you want a modern day version of Attic Attack, check it out anyway. It's free to download. Don't have to pay for it, that's good. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Wipeout. Can't remember the site I got it from, but if you Google Attic Attack PC Remake, it will show you. They've got a few others as well. I think Manic Miner's there, Jet Set Willy, Jet Pack, so we might come to those uh, in future weeks. I don't know. Oh, look, I've done it again. I've done that before. Nincompoop. Oh, there's the green key there, right. We'll use that to go through here. Once you go through those doors, if you dump the key, that door is demolished permanently. You can go back on the tracks. The red key tends to be uh, guarded by a mummy, but he doesn't really turn up that often, the mummy. You'll have to be a bit lucky. Now, where's Dracula? I want to find him. There's Frankenstein as well, also in the basement. If you pick up a wrench, a spanner wrench, you can often uh, kill him. I think it's that witch that keeps uh, laughing. A leaf scares the mummy. Right, through here, that's a bit of luck. Now, we're going around in a big circle now. Which is quite easy to do. Right, okay. Oh, where's the red key? Nice carpet there. Eee, wipe out. Right, oh, we're going over old ground. We need, desperately need to find a new bit of the house here. Well, maybe down here would help. Sometimes going down a trapdoor helps, takes you to a new bit of the castle. This looks different. Maybe down there in a minute. Right, this is different. Right, through here. Gold, red doors. Can't get through there. Keep eating food or your chicken's doomed. I don't know who's putting this food out. Some some ghost chef. But well, we don't care. We're there anyway. So check out my revisited review of Attic Attack. You can check out the original one if you want, I did, but the sound weren't very good. Revisit is better, that's after I got my new microphone. Which has put me in good stead. Dracula can turn up in any one, I think, of about three or four locations. Nowhere around here though, unfortunately. Oh! Yeah, maybe we should, we should have picked the surf, it can go through corks. I don't know if the difficulty is the, uh, the same, uh, depending on what character you choose. Let's zip down here. We were a bit lost. Bit of food. There's a lollipop. That'll do us. Boop. Blue key can't go through there because we haven't got the blue key. That bit of food would do us nicely. I seem to be doing a little bit better with the knight. Maybe I'm just getting... Oh, oh, Frankenstein done us. Keep away from these guys. They're dangerous to your health. Ugh. Right, let's get out of here. There's a blue key, that's gonna come in handy. Right, boom. So, don't hang around or the ghouls will explode on you and you'll lose all your energy straight away. This is a brilliant, brilliant conversion. I did see another conversion done as well, which was graphically it looked nearer to the original. Uh, I didn't think there was too much difference. Uh, this, there's a lot of effort that's gone into this one. It's not one you could have done over an evening or something. This is, this is a big project. Who's playing that organ music? There's a bit of organ music going on there. What was that about? 
Yeah. Oh no, there's Darth Maul again. Ah, uh, right. How do we get out of here? Through here. I'm, you know, I can't quite remember where the three parts of this ACG key are. To be honest, one of it, one of the parts does tend to be in the basement. Uh, the handle tends to be through um, a maze where you need a, uh, a smaller gold key to open certain bits. But I think if I found the red key, wherever that may be, it'd open up quite a lot of other stuff. I think the, the quickest I ever did this was about two and a half minutes. Back in the day when I used to play it a lot as a kid, the original I mean. So it just shows you, with a bit of luck, it can be done quite quickly. And when you got to the end on the original one, it just said, um, well done, you've escaped the castle or something like that. And then gave you a percentage mark. Actually, we go to the ground five o'clock. There we go. You can't get out the basement unless you've got the blue key. Which we'll find out in a minute. There we go. This is exactly the same as the original game. There's the blue key. Zip through there. Boof. Right. Where's Dracula? We need to find Draki. Where is he? Hmm. Don't think we're ever going to find Count Dracula in here, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, yes. Shut up, witchy. This must be the most haunted house I've ever come across. Those doors opening and closing all the time. Ghosts randomising up in uh, different rooms. We need the Ghostbusters. Oh, we go straight up this time. Du, du, du. I don't know what percentage of the castle we've been in. This room looks mighty familiar. Oh, actually, there's, there's a route forward. Shut it. Du, du. Well, our chicken doesn't look great. Because we've eaten all the food around here. Sometimes they replace the food, they put it back there. We definitely need it. 2006. Good, good stuff. So I'm a little bit late coming to it. So oh, there he is, Count Dracula. It's all black and white. He won't attack us because we've got the uh, cross. I might dump that so he attacks us. Right, here he comes. Oh, this is brilliant. That was really nice effect making it black and white. A big throwback to those 40s and 50s films. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, well done. Richard Jordan, I like you. You're a good guy. Great bit of code in this. I'd like to see what other work he's done. There is actually, talking about remakes, there is a remake, PC remake of Night Law somewhere. I don't know what year that was or whether it's of the quality of this, but that might be worth having a look at. I never, oh, see, he's everywhere now. I never got very far with the Spectrum version of Night Law, though it was clever. Maybe, uh, maybe the uh, PC version would be a bit better, but... So many extra colours here. I'm really, imp I'm really impressed by how close the gameplay is to the original here, and that's really making the game for me. Really making the game. It could almost be like a spectrum on steroids. This wonderful stuff. Yes, I dare. Yeah, we're on our last life, aren't we? Here. Notice the scroll colour. The rosette changes on each screen. Well, sometimes it changes ever so slightly, doesn't it? He's trapped door again. Oh, there's the gold key there. This is on the way to finding the uh, the handle. The small gold key. Now, we can go for any of these gold doors. Uh, we just need the red key as well. So you can only hold three items, really. So you can never hold the blue key, the green key, yellow key, and the red key. You have to decide which was the most important. And what doors you've knocked out already. I don't know what that thing is down there. Very dark around this place. There's no lanterns they need. Ah, uh, right. So I've explored quite a bit of the castle here. I'm quite impressed in this second go. I don't know if I'm getting better or the chicken's just going down slower for the night. He's less power hungry. Is that a grand five o'clock up there? Not one I can go through if it is. Good. Use it getting a bit exciting again. Yeah. We're a bit lost. We're out food. There's no food here. We've we've devoured everything. Please, a lollipop. No, nothing here. I think we're gonna die down here. Oh, oh no, that isn't food. Ow. Yeah. Ooh. And we're dead. Ooh. So in summary, I think you know already. But as far as PC remakes go, classic ZX Spectrum games are. 
They couldn't have done much better than this. This is brilliant. Hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Attic Attack, a remake from the Ultimate Play the Game, uh, game of 83. This one's by Richard Jordan in 2006. Thanks for watching this one as always. Um, if you've got any comments about this game, the original, or anything retro, then please put your comments below. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that'll help me out a great deal. If you want to support it just that little bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every little bit helps, and I'm extremely grateful for any help you can supply. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.